Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. What about you? How are you today? Uh, not much this day. It's, it's pretty quiet. Oh, it's very well. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, you can say it's very, um, it's very well or it's quiet. Yes. It, you can just describe uh, the day like, uh, si está bien calmado, tranquilo. You can say quiet. Mm -hmm. Ah, quiet. Ah, okay. 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 Hello, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. How are you today? How, how was your day? Good. Good. Okay, good. Um, okay, let me share my screen. Okay, we are going to wait the rest of your classmates. Okay. Remember that tomorrow we have classes, okay? Because um, we're going to have the classes that we didn't have on Monday and, and Tuesday last week. That is why we have classes tomorrow. Okay. Let me, let me see, I need to share the sound too. Share the sound, okay. <clears throat> Have you been working on the platform? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, Stephanie Carolina. <clears throat> okay, Stephanie Carolina, I understand. Good. So, Today uh, is Thursday, January 26, 2023. So we are going to continue uh, talking about jobs, describing jobs. We're going to make a review about placement of adjectives. And at the end, we're going to have a conversation, okay? We're going to practice um, with your classmates. You're going to practice the equations that I told you to prepare, okay? Um, the adjectives for these lessons, again, we're going to talk about jobs. Uh, you will be able to describe different jobs using ad adjectives, okay? Okay, let me play the activity that I have for you today. There are some adjectives that I have here that describe also um, different jobs, okay? So we have positive and negative uh, adjectives, okay? So uh, give me one positive adjective, Geraldine. The um, ones that you can see here. Interesting. Uh, okay, interesting. Okay, that will be close. Okay, that will be positive. Uh huh. Jennifer, give me one negative. Mm. Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Good. Abigail, give me one positive. Mm. 
Esta es la clase de ayer, teacher. Mm. Es que ayer no estuve. Mm, ok. No, no es, la clase de, no es de la clase de ayer, sino que es en sí de la unidad que estamos viendo, ok. Uh, estos son los adjetivos que ustedes van a utilizar como para describir un tipo de trabajo, ok. Give me one positive. Uh, well, pay, do you think that that is positive? Creative? Sí. Safe? Uh -huh. Safe. Okay. Safe will be one of the positive. Okay. Uh, Brenda Maribel, give me one negative. Uh, creative. Creative and positive. Yes. Cre creative is is uh or creative. Let me let me double check the pronunciation. Because uh that is that is positive, right? Okay, the correct pronunciation. Creative. Yes, it's creative. Creative. Okay, that is the correct pronunciation. Creative. Creative. Okay. Uh, give me one negative, Sandra Elizabeth. Badly paid. <laughs> Badly paid. Uh huh. Que no le pagan muy bien, right? That is the bad paid. Okay. Um. Let me see. Ana Beatriz, give me one negative. That's boring. Boring. Yes. Good. Patricia Lisset. Hola. Give me one uh, positive. Eh, exciting. 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 Okay. Azucena, give me one negative. Um, tiring. Tiring. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cecilio, <clears throat> give me one uh, positive. Rewarding. Rewarding. Yes, that is positive. Okay. Maria Santos, give me one negative. It's stressful. Stressful. Okay. Good. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth, are you there? Yes. Okay. Give me one positive. Uh, glamorous. Okay. Glamorous. Good. Um, Oscar Mauricio, give me one negative. Dull. 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 Okay. Carlos Oscar Mauricio, give me one positive. Eh, educational. Educational. Okay. Good. Okay. Well pay will be positive, right? What about worthwhile? Negative. Positive. It is positive. Mm -hmm. Because it is important, okay? That means that is important or good, okay? That is worthwhile. Okay, good. Those are new for you to describe a different types of jobs, okay? Take note. Tomen nota de los que son nuevos para ustedes. Or, or take a picture. Ready? What is the mean dual? The meaning of, of dull. 
the meaning if um that is not interesting is is not exciting oh, okay dull okay that is the pronunciation dull dull okay um do you have new new adjectives Tiring. Tiring? Yes. Is that is very tired, okay? Es muy cansado. Okay. Do you know all of them? ¿Se conocen todo el significado? Well paid. Well paid. Well paid. Well paid. That you receive good good money okay for the it is well paid and the positive is badly paid okay and worldwide is like a uh, trabajo salvaje worthwhile no it, it it means that it's very important it is good uh -huh. rewarding okay Okay. New. Say, do you have another questions about this adjectives? En la negativo, en boring y dull, cuando la diferencia, los dos significa aburrido, pero boring mm -hmm. and dull. Mm -hmm. Dull. Okay. Dull is that is not interesting, right? It's not exciting. Um. And yes, it's similar, it's kind of similar. The, you can say both. If you want to explain that, for example, security guard has a dual adult job, okay? You can say security guard has a boring job, okay? And, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Okay, good. We're going to continue. Okay, review about this, about a uh, placement of adjectives. So I'm going to play the video that we have in the platform. It has an um, explanation for you. And then if you have questions, we're going to clarify that, okay? Let me know if you can listen to the video. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Yes. Escucha? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. good, yes. good, good. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title that's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now, let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have person plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, is. Finally, we put the adjective. 
Let's look at our next example. The doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our case A, we have a question. Please turn off your microphones. Off. Oh. Cecilia, and the rest that has the microphone on, please turn it off. And in order we can listen to the explanation, okay? Thank you. Apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now, we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article A. Then we will have the profession firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, <clears throat> very good. So, what is the difference between the verbs, uh, well, the placement of adjective? B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que el primero es como personal y el segundo que es con el noun es como hablando en terceras personas. Que tiene, no de mí, sino de, de que ellos tienen. Well, in this case, Ok, la diferencia es, en el caso de B plus adjective, es que esta oración va a llevar el verbo to be, por eso dice B, ok. Usted está describiendo que el trabajo de un doctor es estresante, ok. Primero va a decir, ok, va a mencionar doctor's job, ok, va a mencionar el El, el trabajo de quién, ¿ok? Y luego el, el verbo to be, que sería is en este caso, y al final el adjetivo, ¿ok? Por eso dice be plus adjective. The do uh, doctor's job is stressful, ¿ok? Ahora veamos la otra parte. En el caso del adjective plus noun, primero va a ir el adjetivo y luego va a ir el el nombre, ¿ok? Uh, tenemos el ejemplo, el ejemplo de esta oración. 
A doctor has a stressful job. Okay. Aquí estamos mencionando que un doctor tiene un trabajo que es estresante. Eh, prácticamente est estamos diciendo lo mismo que dijimos en el primer ejemplo, pero la estructura del, de la oración es diferente. En este caso, el adjetivo va a ir antes del verbo. ¿Ok? Tenemos aquí unos ejemplos. The beautiful house. That is okay. Pero si, de si decimos the house beautiful, no. Incorrect. Okay. Why? Because the adjective will be before the noun. En este caso, house tiene, eh, sería el nombre, ¿verdad? De la oración. Por eso el adjetivo va a ir siempre antes del nombre. Okay. Otro ejemplo. The expensive car. Okay. Adjective plus noun. Si decimos the car expensive, no, incorrect. Okay, that, there are two examples here. Uh, the car is old, okay? Aquí tenemos primero el nombre, luego el verbo to be, y después el adjetivo. En el otro ejemplo, a one, a dangerous boss. Oh, I'm sorry, generous. A one, a generous boss. Ok, tenemos el, el adjetivo al inicio, perdón, tenemos el adjetivo antes de el now. Esa sería la diferencia, ok. Be plus adjective means verbo to be, luego el adjetivo. Adjective plus now means uh, adjetivo, luego el nombre. Questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Sería en español. El primero sería como el momento del ser, que es el doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. Y en el otro que es adjetivo más el nombre, sería lo que él hace o, o lo que él, algo así, más o menos. Ambas están describiendo el trabajo, ¿ok? Ambas oraciones describen que el doctor, eh, el trabajo del doctor es... Estresante. Estresante. Ajá. Eh, uh, la diferencia es que aquí están diciendo el trabajo de un doctor es estresante. Y aquí está diciendo, si, usted, si lo traducimos, que un doctor tiene Bien. un trabajo estresante. Y las dos correctas es, y las dos formas es correcta de utilizarlo. Yes. Las dos formas pueden utilizarlas para describir uh, un trabajo. Ya vamos a ver unos ejemplos para que yo les digo, por ejemplo, yo les escribo de esta forma, ustedes me lo van a pasar de esta otra forma. Okay? Ah, correcto. Good. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas? Respecto donde dicen the car expensive, puedo decir this car no, that car is expensive. Correct. Yes. It's no problem. No problem. Because you are using the verb to be plus the adjective. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas? No. Okay, we're going to continue. Now I have the examples here. Tengo los ejemplos, okay? Um, si digo, a photographer has a difficult job. ¿Cómo lo vamos a, 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 a cambiar? Quedando con el verbo to be. A photographer is a difficult job. A photographer job. First, sorry. A photographer job is is difficult. Is difficult. Okay. 
Good. Next uh, example. Here we have the, the, the sentences with the verb to be, okay? An athlete job is exciting. Uh -huh. Y ahí lleva dos veces el verbo, digamos, is. aquí va contractado y aquí va, no importa que vaya dos veces. En el ejemplo de en, aquí en uh, fotógrafo, job is difficult. Como aquí ya lo lleva contractado el, el to be, y aquí lo vuelve a poner, pero ya como verbo sería. Es que acá es, es, se usa como apóstrofe, como eh, estamos haciendo referencia que el trabajo de un atleta. Y aquí ya es el verbo. Siempre sería así. Estamos hablando como, por, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos otro. A lawyer job, ¿ok? El trabajo de un abogado. Luego va el verbo to be is stressful. Si ¿Sí me, me entiende la, difer eh, la, la diferencia, por qué llevamos, eh, va contratado así y por qué eh, también tiene el verbo to be. Miss, puedo salir un ratito solo a recoger algo. Ok, no problem. Ya vuelvo. Ok. ¿Cómo quedaría aquí la oración? En Atleti has in job. Has an exciting exciting job. job. Okay, good. An athlete has an exciting job. Okay. What about number three? A lawyer. Mm -hmm. Has a uh -huh. has a yes. stressful yes. job. Has a stressful yes. job. Okay, good. <clears throat> what about number four? A security guard. Security guard. A security guard. Guard. Security guard. Guard. Carl. John is very is a boring job. Is John. Okay, security card. Here we have the apostle. Yeah, is boring. Very sad. Okay, good. Number four, number five, I'm sorry. That would be the number five. A musician. <coughs> a musician has, has exciting. It's was very exciting. Nicole. Yeah, boy. Very exciting job job okay a policy of a police officer has the dangerous job a police, a police officer just dangerous job is job is dangerous, dangerous. okay very good Okay, that is the way that, that you're going to change, that you're going to switch. Um, the placement of adjectives, okay? The position or the placement of the adjective will be different in these sentences that if we compare that with this sentence, okay? Depende the la estructura que usted quiera darle, okay? B plus adjective, verbo to be plus adjective, or adjective plus noun. <clears throat> okay, good. Now we're going to read. Let me zoom. Okay, who wants 
uh, to read this um, paragraph. Volunteers? Volunteers? Okay, Jacqueline? Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works <laughs> as a waitress at night, but she's really an, an actress during the day. She auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Okay, good, very good, good pronunciation. Okay, who wants to be volunteer to read uh, about John Blue? Becky Peck. Sorry? I like... Becky Peck, quiero ser. Ah, okay. So that will be uh, in the next slide. Who wants to read the next? This one about the video game tester. Oscar Mauricio, go ahead. Uh, lots of teenagers want John, John Blue. Blue's job he plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets five for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Um, is it ever boring? Never John Elmos always wins. Okay, good. <clears throat> Very good pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Okay, who wants to read about Becky Peck? Uh -huh. Alguien me dijo que quería leer acerca de ella? Yo, teacher. Go ahead, Jordan. Okay. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20, 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, good. Just here, haga emphasis en la S, pronuncia otra vez este verbo. Okay. Pronúncelo con la S. Walk. Ok. Without S is walk. Si le agregamos la S, ¿cómo va a sonar, Geraldine? Geraldine. Tiene mute. Okay, she walk, walk, walk. I mean, without the S, is walk, okay? Pero si le pone la S, walk. Okay? She walks. Mm -hmm. Good. Who wants to be Carlos Ruiz? Who wants to read about Carlos Ruiz? ¿Quién quiere leer acerca de Carlos Ruiz? Jennifer Vanessa, go ahead. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lesson, grace, homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. Te, te, ¿Cómo es? Perdón la palabra. He teaches. Teaches. His salary is 10 grit, but, uh, but, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he's happy. He is he's he's happy. He's happy. He's happy. Okay. Carlos Ruiz is a basic man. He plans lessons, grades, his homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. 
His salary isn't great, but that is okay. That's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, <clears throat> very good. Now we have questions about the reading, okay? After the four paragraphs, the four readings, who says these sentences? For example, number one, after I win, I take a break. <clears throat> who said that? John, John Blue. Blue. John Blue, right? The video game tester, okay? I don't usually work in the summer. Who said that? Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, okay. The restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, because she has two jobs, right? One job is? What is her first job? Waitress. Waitress, okay. And also she is? Actress. Actress. Actress, okay, good. Okay, and number four, after work, my feet and arms are tired. Vicky Walker. Okay, Vicky Walker. Why? Why <clears throat> she's tired? Por qué? She walk to work, to job. <clears throat> because she walks at the park with the dogs, right? Okay, very good. What else do you remember about Lisa? If I ask you to describe Lisa's job, how you will describe it? ¿Cómo lo van a describir si yo les digo que lo describan? Lisa Parker's job is... It's stressful. It's a stressful job. This is stressful. It's difficult. Right? It's tired. As it is, okay, tired. Okay, what about John's Blue? How do you describe his job? Easy. Boring job. It's boring? Easy. Easy? What else? Tire. Tire, okay. Okay. What about well pay? <laughs> oh, okay. Well pay. What about Becky? <clears throat> Becky Peck. How do you describe her job? Tire. Tire. Okay. What else? Stressful. Stressful. Do you think that is well paid or badly paid? Good pay. For 20 dollars is a good pay. <laughs> it's well paid. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, what about Carlos? Carlos Ruiz. That is? Uh-huh. It's stressful job. Stressful? Difficult. Difficult, uh-huh. What else? It's creative job. It's bad we pay, uh-huh. His salary isn't great. That means that he's not well paid, right? Okay. But students are, are okay, they like his classes, so he is? 
happy. Happy. Okay, you're very good. <clears throat> now, we're going to write a short description of a job, but don't write the name of the job. Then you're going to read, read that to your classmates and the rest of the, your classmates are going to guess what job is that, okay? What, what is the job that, that you are describing? ¿Sí entienden la, la, la instrucción? Write a short description of a job, but don't write the name of the job. Then read it to your class. Your class may guess the job. Escriban dos o tres oraciones como les estaba enseñando de describir un trabajo. I will give you an example. No voy a decir el, tra el nombre del trabajo, ¿ok? But I will say, it is, ok, it is dangerous, dangerous job, it is badly paid, it is boring, The person use a uniform. Police officer. Okay. A police officer job. Okay, good. Fire, fire fighter. Oh, or can be also a firefighter. Yes. Firefighter. Okay, try to describe one, but don't say the name. You have uh, three minutes to do it. Write it down in your notebook. Escribalo en su cuaderno. Mis, esas van a ir así como las estamos escribiendo con el hub is y el have, has. Uh, recuerde, que no, haciendo... recuerde que no va a decir el nombre del trabajo, solo va a decir la descripción, solo lo va a describir. Ok. Uh -huh. Ready? Let me know when I stand listos.
Ready, Geraldine? Yes. Okay, tell me, what is your description? Uh, it's a stressful job, travel around many countries, it's tired, good pain, and exciting. Okay, good. What will be the occupation or profession, guys? Digo la profesión? No yet. Yes, what is... No. Podría repetir las descripciones. Okay, Geraldine, repeat the description. Okay. Yeah. It's a stressful job. Travel around many countries. It's tired. Good pay and exciting. Well paid and exciting. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Is a, uh -huh. it's a pilot. Pilot. Is it a pilot? No. No. Is fly attendant. Okay, a fly attendant. Okay. Similar with a pilot, right? Okay, good, Geraldine. Very Thanks. good. Okay, someone else who is ready? Juan Javier, are you ready? Uh, a job, a stressful, interesting, creative. Okay, is stressful, creative, uh, interactive. And? Interactive. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Guess. A stressful, creative, and interactive. Okay. Yes. What profession is that one? Uh-huh. Teacher. Okay, is it that profession? Juan Javier? Uh, barber. Barber. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's creative because they know how to cut in different ways your hair. <laughs> okay, good. Someone else? Jack, Jacqueline, uh-huh. You want yes. to participate? Yes. Yes. The job is tired, glamorous. We can watch on TV. Sometimes they use glamorous dress and bikinis. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. Yes. Actress. Uh huh. Is that a, that profession? Actress. Jacqueline. Las modelos, las mis universo. <laughs> okay, models. Okay. Models. Okay. Good. Someone else? Alguien más? Okay, Jenny. Um, it's a educational job. Mm -hmm. It's creative, creative, uh -huh. creative, and it's a positive, positive, positive job and help children to learn. Okay, a good. Teacher. A teacher. Okay, a teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Someone else. Alguien más quiere participar? Me. A boring job. A boring job. Barely pay. Work all the night. Oh, okay. They work all the night. Barely pay and boring. Okay. What is that? Uh huh. Guess, guys. A police. No. No? 
Security. Security guard. Okay. Yes, that is true. They had to work all night. Really sad. Maria Santos, uh -huh. do you want to participate? The machinist war is difficult, dangerous, stressful, but in pain, tearing. Okay. Is that a fa firefighter? Maria? Hi. What is a profession? And the machine. Mechanic? Yes. Oh, okay, mechanic. Okay, good. Someone else who wants to participate? Oscar Mauricio. Uh huh. And Azucena. Okay, first uh, Oscar and then Azucena. Okay, teacher. Uh, job is, is exciting and but it's bad uh, pay is tired um you can uh, watch um on tv okay um uh, guess guys uh-huh what is what what, is, what what profession is that a journalist a journalist and you said that is value pay? Well, in, in our country, all the professions <laughs> are value pay, right? Maybe, uh, I don't know, even, even the doctors are not well paid here in El Salvador. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, teacher. <laughs> In other countries, so we have uh, like, uh, I mean, if you work in, in health, if you are a doctor or a nurse, you are well paid, right? But in, in this country, mm, it's difficult. Maybe if you have uh, your own business, your own uh, place, right? Maybe you will, you will get a better salary. Okay, good. Someone else? Alguien más quiere participar? Participation, guys. Okay, so we're going to move here. <clears throat> you are going to move, you're going to ask questions to someone about uh their family or friends, members job. Okay, family members or friends. Who wants to start? Yo, teacher. Okay, Geraldine. Uh -huh. A quien le pregunto? O, o Any, le pregunto? Anyone. Usted elija. Okay. Cecilio. Uh-huh. Dígame. Uh, do you, how many daughters do you have? How many? R repítame, por favor. No la escucho. No la escucho. <coughs> How many daughters do you have? Daughter. Eh, varios, <laughs> varios years. No me, uh, o no me pregunta no. de mi edad. No, how many daughters do you have? Do you have do you have children, Cecilia?
Do you have children? Your, I mean, if you are father, are you a, are you a father or not? Usted es, un, es papá? Creo que se puso en mute y no lo puede quitar. Geraldine, pregúntale a alguien más, luego le preguntamos a Cecilia. Ok, Jenny. Does Jen? Your, Jenny? Yes, yes. Okay. Does your family is big? Yes. Okay. How many brothers or sisters do you have? Uh, I have uh, one sister. Okay, thanks. Okay, Geraldine. La pregunta dice, does your family is big? Así dice, ¿verdad? Sí, does your family is big? Okay, en este caso... No vamos a utilizar el verbo to do y el is al mismo tiempo en esa pregunta, ¿ok? Se utiliza, okay. Uh, utiliza en este caso, ¿cuál sería el verbo to be o el verbo to do? Para hacer esa pregunta. El verbo to do. Das. Y quitar el is. ¿Cómo quedaría entonces? Pero quedaría mal, ¿verdad? That's your family big. No, no suena bien. Uh -huh. Is your family is big? Is your family big? Big. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Uh, let me... Déjeme pasar lista, el resto, si no tiene preguntas, prepare, prepare sus preguntas, si nos queda tiempo, eh, las hacemos y si no, mañana continuamos con esto, ok? Let me see. Ok, Abigail. Abigail de Los Ángeles. No. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok, so, Susana. Present. Brenda Maripel. Brenda. Cecilia. Cristian David. Present teacher. Lo siento. <laughs> Cristian, right? Teacher. Yeah. Okay, Present. Brenda López. Brenda. Present. Ok, yes. Ya le puse. Aquí está aquí. Igual a Cecilio. Uh, ok, Darling. Darling, Gabriela. Present teacher. Ok, Present. thank you. Fátima, Natalia. Present teacher. Ok, Geraldine. Yes. Present. Jacqueline, Carolina. Present teacher. Jennifer Vanessa. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Present. Jose Álvaro. Álvaro. Eh, José Serafín. Present teacher. Juan Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, um, Juan Javier is here. Yes. Carla Esther. Carla. Present, Miss. Thank you. Present. Yes, thank you. Manuel Alejandro. María Santos. Present teacher. Marlon. 
Marlon Antonio. Perdón, Marlon Ernesto. Are you here, Marlon? I guess he's not here. No. Okay. Ah, uh, Moisés. Moisés Mauricio. Moisés. Norma Lisset Crespi. Norma. Ok. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Patricia Lisset. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, and Susana, but she's not here. Okay, good. Okay, that because Cecilio, of the time. Cecilio, present teacher. Yes, Cecilio. Sí, ya le puse presente. Okay, because of the time, uh, we don't have a, um, extra time to practice, but for tomorrow, please have ready these questions because tomorrow we are going to discuss these questions, okay? You are going to have a conversation with someone in your in this class, you are going to ask about, um, for example, what is uh, your mother's name? Okay, you're going to say the name. What does she do? Where does she work? Okay, so you, you are going to give information about a family member, okay? Okay, if, teacher. If you don't have ready your, your questions, do it for tomorrow. See you tomorrow at the same time at 8 p.m. Okay? See you. See you tomorrow. Si tiene preguntas, please let me know. Escríbanme, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. Good Take night. Care. Take good care. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Teacher, Abigail presente. Abigail Carolina, right? Okay, good, thank you. Abigail de Los Angeles. Abigail de Los Angeles, okay. Thank you. Thank you.